हम जब भी खाना खाते हैं द फर्स्ट मूवमेंट इज प्रोट्रूजिव बाइट एज टू एज सो दैट वी कैन टेयर इन टू दैट फूड एंड देन टू वी गो बैक इन टू मैक्सिम इंटर स्पेशन एंड स्टार्ट मैक्सिम so always our first movement is go into incisal edge position and then follow the anterior guidance backwards so that we can come into maximum intercuspation and we can start masticating on food yes okay so when you go into protrusion this is the kind of movement that we want that is as soon as you go into protrusion the lower anterior teeth should be guided by the cingulum and the lingual concavity of your maxillary anterior okay this is in protrusion and once again as soon as you go into protrusion what do you get at the back this occlusion determined by x value that is your horizontal condylar guidance angle okay next is going into right lateral when you go into right lateral that is your functional movement is towards the right you have one tooth or more teeth that is guiding the entire occlusion okay appreciate this this patient is going into right lateral can you see tooth separation on the working side as well as on the non working side working side is right side non working side is left side okay this is where things get a little complicated this patient is going into right lateral i'm looking at the working side Can you see the space here? What determines the amount of space? The canine, the lingual concavity of the canine, which I can say is the patient's anterior guidance. Yes. So teeth, that is your anterior guidance, determine the amount of tooth separation on the working side. Now let's look at the non-working side. Can you see non-working side also there is separation? What determines this separation? No, it is the patient's condylar guidance angle on that side. Which means, <laughs> if a patient has a low condylar guidance angle, on the non-working side there will be less space, in spite of the fact that you may have given a very tall canine and a lot of disseclusion on the working side. Condylar guidance angle in the horizontal direction is very important for us to record. working side when you move into right lateral what is guiding the occlusion the entire lingual concavity the cingulum and the lingual concavity of your canine which is nothing but the anterior guidance of that canine too so on the working side the amount of posterior disseclusion is determined by the anterior guidance which is actually the length and the width of the canine on the non working side however the amount of posterior disseclusion is determined by the condylar guidance angle why because this side there is rotation working side only rotation so the canine is determined this side the mandible is translating forward downward and inward which means it is dependent on this guidance that god has given this way i can't change that what i can change is the anterior guidance of that patient i cannot change the condylar guidance of that Don't have